size white mouse coming straight up. Track in the heat, aren't we? <laughs> oh man, cicadas are going, not a cloud in the sky. 36 degrees today. Oh yeah, man, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I, I just like the fact that we're gonna get to a nice cold mountain stream. <laughs> yeah. Priority one is the bike ride, though, eh? The yeah. Just oh, the, exactly. Like that's that's just what we both love yeah, about our bike ride of getting in a good hard bike ride and uh, you know going to a, a beautiful destination. We'll see. We'll see what we catch. I'm sure we'll get a few fish, but now it's uh, it's definitely the bike ride. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, yeah, yeah. just love that part. Well, should we be like the Tweedlebugs and push the mountain bikes? We oh, are taking no, Tweedy ride Master ride. School. You can, you can push yours. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ride mine. Ride mine. Yeah. No kidding, eh? And we're probably going to yell our asses. Oh, out. yeah. Got this old handy horn, you know? Handy horn. Handy horn. Handy, handy horn, horn brought horn. to you by Grizzly Central. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost my chain last year on the other bike. Oh, that is my top gear, damn it. <laughs> yeah, no. Wake up, sit in your ass, drive out, go up a hill. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun one to ride up on the way back. Woohoo! Wow, this is a way better bike on this stuff. Oh, Holy cow. Like Low tire pressure with knobs yeah. on bigger tires. Oh, yeah. All the difference in the world. Holy cow. Man, this reminds me of that alder section going into Fortress. Oh, big time. Where Ferferro got rolled by the grizzly and cub. Yep. You know, any of these alders could hide a oh yeah that's why when we're coming down those hills yeah. i'm still braking even though i don't want to yeah. it's kind of like punt coverage you don't want to out kick your punt coverage because unlike football there's a grizzly waiting for you at the other end yeah. if that grizzly breaks tackle you're screwed hey, yeah just rolling over this like butter right now rocks that were stopping my momentum last year i'm just rolling right over this year <laughs> <laughs> well we made it <laughs> oh yeah to here <laughs> you know yeah. when it's 28 oh. celsius at nine o'clock 9 30 in the morning it's like uh oh yeah but the other kick is 90 percent humidity oh it's crazy this is unheard of for southern alberta, alberta. yeah this it's usually like 20 percent you know maybe 30 yeah. if you're lucky Man. it kind of feels like buenos aires when you know, a couple oh, years ago when they landed it was just oh my god 35 above that takes your breath away man like, mm. yeah this isn't quite that thank no. god not yet still <laughs> yeah not yet okay let's get to the let's river get changed here so beautiful going through such a lush green forest eh? it is yeah wow yeah oh, I love it. big open eh? i might i might be you know maybe swimming today oh actually. geez <laughs> let me know the second we step into this water you might change your little whistling tune though. well there is that but it tends to be a little cooler it does oh oh that's wow, cold yeah that feels good that's the coldest water we've felt for a while but 
I'll take it. Yeah, oh hell yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we just rode in. Yep. And our goal today is just, uh, you know, boots and rod, let's go fishing kind of thing. Let's do it. So yeah, we're right at a gorgeous run here and Dave's gonna have a go with your big beetle pattern and yep. see what you have come up, <laughs> hey? And I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, well the thing it's is- such pretty it, water. We're gonna fish some of the water. Of course, my my nature instinct is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do as much sight fishing as I can, try to, yes. you know, um, I think at some point today we'll be able to see a few fish. But the clarity today in the water is, is perfect. Stunning. It really is. The we just have to find those good, soft, but, yeah. soft bits, yep. you know? So, yeah. let's go have a go and let's try not to get too sunburnt. The water's cold, <laughs> thank God. So we should be able to just, you know, open highway and let's go have fun. Let's do it. This year, high water, clearly it's broken through. Um, real, real push here. The fish are going to be just underneath logs and sticks, current breaks. I think that's one right on the drop off up here, right there. And before I go after that one, uh, just have another look, just see the different colors. Is there any movement? Is there anybody holding? Um, as yet, no. So it's just right up here in a collection of uh, red, orange, creamy rocks just above this sand here. So I, it, the fish isn't really showing many signs of coming up on the water column but it's a cutthroat, uh, water's cold, and that's, you know, they'll feed, feed, feed. They don't often come high until the day warms up. And it's, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, water temperature's probably high 40s. Um, and I've basically got just a big old kind of stimulator sedge. I'm only about 18 inches down to everybody's favorite. Um, <laughs> a hair's ear nymph with four strands of copper crystal flash and a coffee colored uh, tungsten bead, slightly oversized. Okay, so this is always an interesting cast when you're trying to get it inside. There's a stick, unfortunately, that's there. There we go. Just on the inside seam. That sparkly stuff, he's got it. He's gonna oh, yeah. take it. Oh, he had it, He and away he went. Yeah, you can see him go right across the river. I knew he was coming too. Oh well. Yeah, he just came up and I uh, think, he, at that angle I couldn't see his mouth. That's right. You couldn't see yeah. the mouth and honestly it was like he just he, it's almost like he could have pushed it forward if exactly. you will because of the currents in there. But that those 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 sparkly crystal uh <laughs> crystal flash <laughs> tail fibers definitely got his attention. Oh, he came yeah. three feet over. Yep. Ah uh, well. He's right down here now, eh? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Got a little mend. And anybody? Oh, he looked at the dry fly. Did he? Yeah, he did. He said to come to shallower water. Yeah, apparently so. Where is he? Oh, he's moved up. Okay, he's right at my feet now, right here. Okay, let's see what he does. Come on, come over. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got him. Wow, he came right over. Isn't that amazing? Good eye, love. Thank you. That's awesome. Oof. That's cool, Dave. Yeah, he... He originally refused up here, moved way over there. He could watch him move across. And then he said, oh, I gotta go home. And he came home and on his way home, he ate my nymphs. Beautiful. Everybody has to stop for a burger and fries on the way home, right? <laughs> <That was laughs> Thanks, Mills. Okay. Awesome, gorgeous fish. Yeah, gorgeous yeah. fish. Jeepers, hey? Yeah. Just a stunning, stunning spot. So we're at just a stunner of a pool here that's just got, it just screams fish, every piece of it. You know, you got that nice giant log down the side of it and then a big depression off the left side and a nice gravel shelf leading in. Yeah, I have that far one there. Right, Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. You gonna come up? Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Yeah. Oh. Too fast. Really? I didn't feel it. I think he came at me as well, you know? Frick. And I just missed him on the dry fly. Um, it was an eat that just came right at me. And uh, I didn't wait long enough. I was a smaller mouth fish and I, I didn't, I just didn't wait long enough. Because like that. that is tender dry. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Feels good, though. Awesome, you mind grabbing my rod? Sweet. Do the same here. Well, it sure is a, a pool and a half here. That's got to be over my head deep. Yeah. And we're looking, 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 looking. Have not seen any flashes as yet. Always hopeful, man. Always hopeful. Okay. Hey. Here we go. Do it. No. There we go. Wouldn't come up to that. So deep. And he's going up now, hey? Don't got him now. He's way under the log. That's not going to work there. He's going across. Yeah. If he drops, that's one thing. Yeah, he's right there. Just by that stick coming across. Is he? Oh, yeah, okay. Might have a chance. No, he's on the bottom. He's across. There yeah, I know. see that. Okay. I see I see him plain as day. Okay. Okay, it's just a matter of okay. we need him to drop more. Okay, here we go, yeah. That has a chance. And eat it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. That was awesome. Saw the nymph eat. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Really cool. Oh, wasn't it? Unbelievably slow. Gorgeous cutthroat, though. Gorgeous cutthroat. Yeah. Woo. I liked that a lot. Oh, these fish are sluggish today. Oh, they are. They really, really are. I mean, he didn't fight at all, hey? Wow. What a pretty cutthroat. A, a fat, quite a fat one, actually. Wide one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll bring it up for you here, dude. Cool. For me? Yep. Got that? Put it on the fish. Ah, oh, nice. Gorgeous fish. Well, I really love that fish, guys. Um, the whole, the name of the game for that one was just keep plugging that line because that fish was just going to cruise left and right behind that log and all I had to do was just keep getting a drift with that dry dropper above him. And I knew that it was probably going to be a situation where he needed to come shallower and that's exactly what happened. He came shallower, I got on it right away, I got that drift and then oh, waiting, waiting, waiting to see that mouth eat and take that nymph and yeah gorgeous cutthroat in just a stunning location. I mean, look at those mountains in behind me. See if I can get across this, have a look. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. It's gotta be somebody in there, doesn't there? Oh, 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 okay. Here we go, ready? I got one right here, right? Oh. I swear he looked at my dropper nymph. Here we go. One more. He's looking at my dropper nymph hard. Yeah, right in. There. Right on, man. Hey, can you toss me that Excellent. net? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That was awesome. I could see him come right up. Had to be one in there. Yeah, there did. There we go. Wicked. Right on. Sweet. That's a gorgeous little cut. Yeah, good, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Right yep. Okay, let's get, let's get this going. critter going. I don't think so, but I'll have a quick look here. Just seems like it could be. Right in through there. Yeah. Nobody ate the drop. Right in through there. Yeah. Nobody ate the drop. Fly. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it just seemed like there was a smudge there. Gorgeous little cutty. Stunning. There you go. Right? That's gorgeous, Dave. Here we go. Anytime. Here we go. Gorgeous oh, fish. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Nice. So the truth is that we've walked past a lot of this stuff today. Yeah, we picked up a, quite a few fish that we haven't shared on camera. Um, but we wanted to sh basically just share the beauty of sight fishing to stunning a little cutthroat trout in the Edgewater. We came up here, we knew it was a little bit high. It's flowing, um, it's actually really low for this time of year at the end of June, but it's flowing at a rate last year, a month later, just a month earlier, if you know what I'm saying. Like it was this Cumex yes. last year in late July, it's doing it now. And last late July, we said, we're gonna wait, you know, this is 13, 13 Cumex, which is times 35 CFS, whatever that number is. Um, and we told ourselves last year, we're not gonna come up here until it's about 10. Well, we came up here because it's 37 degrees Celsius. The water is ice cold up here. We just wanted to avoid warm weather uh, fly fishing. So we just wanted to come up and sight the fish, the few fish, go for a bike ride, go for a good walk in, in, in a gorgeous valley and just pick off a few fish that we see along the edges. And we've come up through one section of heavy downfall, uh, deadfall, that kind of thing. And we're just gonna keep going. And we're gonna come up here and it's gonna start opening up and we're gonna find a bit, a lot more edge, open water. And we should start to see a couple more fish in shallow on the edges. Uh, there's a couple of really gorgeous pools too. So let's get at her. So we spotted a fish that's surfing <clears throat> kind of using this big white rock that I'm pointing at out here and surfing left and right of it. Trying to get a good view of him now. I think he's just my side of it. But I know he's moving around in there a lot. Oh yeah, I got him. I think he's just left actually of a creamy rock. Our, our side of it, cool. Okay, so that's gonna be quick coming in. Gonna have to lead him a little bit. Yeah, he swung quite a ways left there. And kind of coming home. Yeah. yeah. Coming home. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just coming over him. Coming up and ate the dry. Oh! Right at you. He I, I did he? Again. again. Hook right at you. I had him on I, I for a split second there and the wow. Rate, button hook right at you. It was yeah. a gorgeous eat, yeah. but geez. I'm, That's the second dry uh, fly take you've had today where they button hooked. Yeah, you know, I'm almost you. thinking of going something slightly smaller too, just because of that. I don't know. Yeah, this fish that we've seen is just holding and swaying right above this big root mass. And, uh, yeah, it's hard to know. I want to get into position. I have to get a bit above him, but he literally is swinging, you know, right like this. So I've got to get my, interestingly, this is a back eddy. Believe it or not, the, the current comes in and hits this down log and comes back at him. So that's why he's actually, you know, he's, he's like that and and swaying left, right. Are you gonna come up? Yes. What? Again, just smacked it. Okay, I'm not using this fly anymore. Not happening. He rocketed up and I think pushed it. He's still there. Yep. Slow Dave's, motion. Dave's got and slow motion video. The problem, I think the problem I don't know. No, what happens is because you're casting that way and the fly is hooking in with the current, mm -hmm. when the fish comes up to eat, when you set the hook, you're actually pulling up because your, your leader is staying hooked like that. In this micro little eddy, that's what's happening. Okay. So when he comes up, he ate it and then he went down and you can see his head thrash, mouth open and you and I pull it out, pull it out upstream because of the yeah. micro drag. I think you gotta try it again with that dropper though. Yeah, let's give her a go. Yeah. Why not? Hopefully he takes the dropper this time. Here's open. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try with a slightly heavier nymph here. It's the same copper tail, but it's a size 12 instead of a size 14. So I'm gonna give that a go here and just see what happens. You ready there, Dave? Oh yeah, just Oh, subsurface. subsurface time. Okay, here we are. And yeah, yeah, got him. Okay, come on, bring him out, bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. 
Bring them out, bring them out. Yes, 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 yes. Keep them out, keep them out. <laughs> keep them out. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm not really counting on this, but I'm still hopeful. I'm gonna actually try to bring them below this if I can. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, back in here. There we go. Steer them up. And in the net. Yeah, beautiful. Finally. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it had to take a nymph at some point. Boy, that had to be frustrating. It was. Honestly, it was, you know. Two takes on the dry fly, a no-go, but hey, got him, got him with that heavier nymph, so that's cool. Happy, thank you. Come on, gotta take the nymph out of you, bud. It won't take much, let's just flip you upside down, try to calm you. There you go, nice and calm. Awesome. Okay, Dave, I'm gonna slide out of the net now. And, and off he goes. Wicked. Actually, I'm not sure. Was that female or male? I didn't I take a close look. <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a cool spot, guys. I, I mean, I do love fishing this wooded stuff. Um, look at that. What a pileup from high water. And look at that water coming in. Just that drop-off zone and the calm stuff. And honestly, today it's been all about um, finding fish in calm, calm water because they're not holding in this fast stuff. Why would they expend that kind of energy? So yeah, anyway, enjoyed that fish. Uh, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> so another really gorgeous looking run. Um, we are mostly just trying to look for fish, but I had to get a few decent good casts into this stuff because it just screams like it should have a fish. It is pretty quick, but right on that inside is where I would have one, but it's not there. Maybe coming off this drop off? Hard to know. Yep, there it is. Awesome, man. Yeah, came right up, drifting through, took the dry. Love it. Yeah, had to be a fish in that. Just had to be. That's wonderful. Steer it in a bit and then see if I can get it up. Keep it up, keep it up and in that net. Yeah, nice, just a chunker. Well, the dry is out, love. And you took the dry, so I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah? Show your camera. Yeah, yeah, beauty. Sweet little one, guys. Gorgeous cutthroat. Okay, and away she goes. <laughs> Wicked. Well, we're at a pool that we've had some fun in before. Um, and the nice thing is that not a lot changes with high water and things like that in this pool. Um, it should still be quite the same. And the neat thing is we can also get up high on the bank, which is what Dave's gonna likely do just to see in. Um, you have to kind of be in shadow in order to see in shadow. So yeah, there's a lot of contrast. Sometimes it's a lot better fishing this one. Um, when it is on a cloudy day because everything's consistent But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a go and try to communicate and and see what we can pull out of this pool um, not easy right now because up pause and place Because it's really interesting light that it does not make things easy. Yeah, I'm not seeing my dry at all well and there's actually some mixing currents that's sucking it in Nah, I don't like that. All right, guys, so I've gone with a foam pattern here that I should be able to see on top. And below it, two feet, I've got uh, just a pheasant tail. Again, uh, about a size 12 with a decent size uh, coffee uh, bead for the tungsten bead. And uh, I'm going to work up ahead of me. We did see one rise, eh, Dave? Just a little bit. How far up? Pause and place. In there. Okay. Great spot. Up, pause, up. I, it's not easy seeing it. I got this. it. You got it? Yeah. Here it comes. Yep. Uh, nice. Thanks, Dave. I just saw his white I mouth coming straight up. It is the weirdest water to see into right oh, now. I bet. Just the strangest water. Thanks for that. Feels like a good fish right now. It might just. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I just saw the white mouth coming straight up. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Just lost it, really did. It's a lot of shimmer in there. Yeah. And a low riding foam. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, not, not that big a fish, just a healthy one, you know? Yeah, a healthy. Well, it's a really pretty fish, guys. Um, yeah. I needed, needed Dave's eyes because I lost track of my dry fly. Okay. There we go. Ah, that's gorgeous. Go Got that? Yeah. Okay, and away he goes. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, it's nice that he came for the dry. <laughs> Enjoyed that a lot. That's just a little blackie. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. Looks like almost a cub. In yeah, the back end, looks eh? like. Might be a cub, that one. Yeah, or a yearling or something like yeah. that. Nothing too big. Yeah, it's a, that's a, that one's a little bit bigger. Not huge. I mean, yeah. it's... That guy's not, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's twice the size of my hand, but yeah. he's, yeah. I mean, you don't want to arm wrestle Yogi, but you know. <laughs> okay, guys, so, you know, a lot of people have been asking, what is that air horn for? Like, why you guys got this thing in our, in our backpack? Well, we're back here on a Monday at the end of June, and there's no vehicles parked at the parking area, which is about 10, five or 10 kilometers up valley from nobody else and then we hike, rode our bikes in another 5k and then we've walked another 5k yeah. and we're in prime grizzly country and what we found yes uh, noise making stuff in busy parks that kind of stuff not as effective but when you're in the back country like this we always are singing and we're always dancing oh, yeah. we're making, making noise. noise we are making noise right and we've run into quite a few bears i'd say the last few years we've probably run into three or four bears within 100 200 yards and that gets their attention. It does. Every one of them has run away. And this is, I don't know, it's a Fox 40 Marine Safety Eco Blast rechargeable safety signal air horn and air pump. And on the bottom, it's just a bike pump. Rechargeable. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all you need. You just attach it and you just refill it with air and, and you're good, and to, go you're good to go again. This so. is something that when we owned the lodge in the back country at Fortress Lake, we saw bears yeah. lots. Yeah. We put a lot of bears in the lake with this baby right yeah. here. And it's something that you they found. They don't like it. Absolutely. Yeah. No, so. I mean, to me, it kind of gives me, I guess, a better sense of feeling safe because I've at least got something that, you know, I can blast. Obviously, you don't want to spook or come up on a bear too quickly. So when we're biking and we're cruising downhill going fast, we're making oh, yeah. lots when of When we're riding our bike. It's... But yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just yeah. louder yeah. than that, but you know what I'm hey, saying. Yeah. Hey, there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, prevention is yeah. pretty much the... Prevention's the king. Yeah. You know, but if you look, you look at what we're in, look at all that thimbleberry. Yeah. Everything on the side of the trail. Come August, September. That is Ooh. going to produce a berry. And yeah, it's just absolutely <laughs> classic bear country in here. Yep. So, so we'll just keep happily walking down Grizzly Lane here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All that snow, though, is still up. Yeah. End of June. Right on the top. 35, yeah. 36 above today. And... Still snow up top. That's a stunner, hey? Oh, it is. It's so nice. <laughs> to stand right in one of the little crooks between the spires would be so cool. If anybody ever wonders if it's worth the effort, hey? Oh, yeah. These lodge full of pine, eh? Yeah. I just love how poker straight they are. It's... Okay. Alright, let's do this again. Back we go. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna rip it, but you don't wanna bump a bear. Low tire pressure, full suspension, 29 inch tires. Wow. Not so sure I'm so keen on this up, but no. I sure enjoyed it this morning. Yeah. Just had a bear knock a tree down over here. Hey, hey! <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey! Hey! Doesn't get your nerves up at all. Oh, yeah. He booked it, eh? Oh, he booked it. Yeah. Could not hear that. No. Like, okay, there's something big in the forest. Uh huh. I can 
never saw him, did you? I saw the black. Okay. So he's probably as scared of us, but yeah. 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 Might not have been my best move of the day. Oh. Hey, 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 Mr. Grizzly. Let's go. <laughs> me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, there you go, there you go. Hindley, Hindley, Hindley. Yeah, keep coming, Mills. Right in here, it's number two in about a half mile. That was a, that one's a grizzly. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm moving. Lots of noise. Yeah, I kind of took the wrong lane there for a second too. There's the grouse. <laughs> oh man, what a great day, hey? Yeah. Oh, great bike ride. Absolutely. Saw a black bear and a grizzly bear in the ride out. The black bear actually got my attention more than the grizz. Oh yeah, that sound of him breaking branches was unreal. Oh yeah. Just the one hiker today. Yeah. Crazy. That right there. The old frozen water bottle trick in the cooler. Oh. So needed after this day. But thank Holy you for that, cow. man. Giver. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're the one who sweated the most, so have a start. Is, I think I'll start. It's just Wow. Yeah. Jeez. And no, that temperature isn't changing as we move. It actually is 40. Wow, man. Wow. Holy helter skelter. That's a good bike that ride, eh? Bloody hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we felt that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> wow. Wow. Three showers tonight? Three cold, cold showers, showers tonight? Cold showers and large slurpee. Oh, yeah.